Hi everybody, welcome to my first devlog. Recently I have released a mobile game called Light Hit 3D, inspired from Knife Hit and Twisty Arrow, which both got millions of downloads. My goal is to get started with Unity 3D Engine. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel because I need your support and I hope you will enjoy this video. So a question we get asked a lot is how to make a to get started? I didn't watch any YouTube tutorial and I didn't saw Bracky's video. I mean I did. Then since I am very patient, I jumped into Unity and started playing with physics. To make this figure turn and the knife shoot, of course I didn't took any open source script. Then it is very simple and easy, I just added a small method in the start function. <laughs> Don't worry, you are not alone, it never and will never work from the first time, only if the code is stolen. To make it work, I have added states for the knife to be able to freeze in case of collision with the sphere and not with other attached knife. This was the magic that make it work for the first time, or at least it seems to, because the knives are passing through the border, but I know how to fix it. I need to lower the shooting speed to detect the collision as soon as possible. At this level, I decided to add the audio and I wanted to have two modes, normal and slow motion. I grabbed some audio script from Brackies. Yeah, I know, it was stolen, that's why it's working from the first time for the normal mode. For the slow motion mode, I have to add a boolean flag to the audio script to change the pitch based on the mode. After a little more struggle, I finally got it to work sort of as expected. Very satisfying, or at least for me. The sound effect will be later changed, of course. <laughs> Next, it is time to add the main menu scene and setting scene. This was not very hard. But the scene for level selection was not easy for me as a beginner, and took more time to get it working properly. Main key for this is a function that creates a button for each level. Each button should start the level based on the current index. However, I have to keep in mind that some levels are unlocked. The create button function should also handle that by enabling or disabling the interactable flag ordinary. After a couple of weeks or months, I don't know, now it is time to ramp up the graphics and take the game to the next level. Of course, I'm just kidding. Uh, I started by changing the background and different material color. I have added post-processing to use the pluming effect on the sphere and on the knife once it is attached. To achieve that, I developed a method to update the emission color on the knife material and enable it. Then all I have to do is calling that method on the collision inter callback with the desired amount of emission. So you can see now once we have collision the knife will have a blooming effect and the sphere will animate shortly to the white color. The result was fine for me and I moved to the next step. To give more nice feeling to the game I thought adding a camera shake effect would be great. That was really easy. I found a clear post from a secret resource called internet, copy that and paste, you know how right? If you don't just click on copy and then control plus V and you are good to go. Again inside my knife success callback function I have to give it a call. And boom it works. I mean kind of. Some calibration is needed and now it is better. Let's do this one more time. Perfect. Explosion effect is always nice to have if the player finish all the knives. To implement that I have added an animation color to the sphere to burn with the blooming effect. The sphere object itself should simply disappear by disabling the render because if I destroy the object I will lose all the childs. Then I used the particle system of Unity combined with rigid body physics to explode all the child knives attached to the sphere. The 
result is acceptable for me and I didn't want to spend more time on that. Now I feel ready to create different form of knives that can be selected for different levels. I know I'm very bad on design but I tried. I was lucky and everything went fine. Oh yeah, I mean, after many headaches. Actually here I was using hinge join. It is a bit advanced and I have to play around unity physics as well to freeze some unwanted rotation. I continued adding more shapes, colors and more bags of course. Then I have to fix it my way. Now it works. I just have to buy another screen. I recommend this way to fix your problems. Yes! I can't believe I made it! Once I finished with creating different knife prefab, I wanted to create boss levels. So that after every five levels, you will play against the boss. It is nothing special but looks different with higher difficult parameters. All these prefabs that I am preparing will be used later to create levels remotely. So the levels will be created based on the parameter with the knife index and sphere index. Design was as simple as possible as I am a software guy and I have never used 3D designing in my work as embedded software engineer. At this point, I felt that the UI is really poor and I need to improve it. To do so, I added simple buttons to switch the camera and use the slow motion mode. I have added also an indicator of the remaining knives. And then I prepared some public function to handle the UI, such as set level, update diamonds, update remaining knives, and so on. To make the game more fun and live, I decided to add diamonds with nice collision effect. I searched it on the Unity Asset Store and I found something simple and free of charge of course. This asset looks good and it has positive reviews. All what I need to do is import to my project. Again, I added material with blooming effect and with some scaling I got it to work without too much pain. Here the size was too big and I have to scale it down again. To get it to work, of course I have developed a diamond script which will reward the player and handle the collision effect. After testing all the diamonds, the result was good for me and I'm happy with the effects and the color. The remaining knife indicator is also working properly after a little struggle. As I like animation, I wanted to add a light startup animation to the sphere. For that, I used curves to create a scale animation function. As parameters, I have to indicate the duration, target scale, and the callback function to invoke at the end. Then, all what I need to do is calling the scale animation function with the end callback function to update the game states once the animation is done. This should also include the start of the rotation pattern. Using the elastic ease out effect will always look great comparing to the linear curves which is really boring. If you have any question on how to call this please don't hesitate to ask. And this is the ease library visualization for your reference. Just one step before start creating levels, I watched a video about ripple effect. I found a guide with code and I used my favorite weapon copy paste. With some calibration, all sounds good. I think it makes more sense to use it only in the explosion animation 
and my purpose at the end is to learn as much as possible for future dev games. Integration was super easy, just comment a necessary part of code and add a call to play the ripple animation on the right place. In addition to that, I have added a win effect using Unity Particle System. Of course, I have tried several colors and I ended up using the blooming yellow. I have added also some line of code to switch automatically to slow motion mode if it is the last knife to be shooting. I really liked this touch and enjoyed the result. For remote level creation, I made a simple design. Once the game is opened, I will be showing the loading screen and request remote configuration. Once the Unity server reply, we need to process the configuration and generate all level. If this is finished, the loading screen will be hidden and the game is ready. The level key will contain a list of levels parameters made in JSON format. The received list will be parsed key by key to create the necessary variable for each level. This example does not show all the parameters, but you can check this in the code. Then we need to log into our Unity dashboard and start creating our configuration. I have prepared a doc with a level template as a reference and all what I need to create my levels with different knives, bows and rotation pattern. Everything went well and once I reached 100 level I faced an issue. It seems that the size of a JSON config is limited. I thought optimizing the keys will help and save some kilobytes, but unfortunately that was not enough. Then I came with the smartest idea in the world. Instead of having one list of level, I can use as much as I want of keys to create many lists and each list will contain around 100 levels. To implement this, I created the basic function which check for level list and break at the first empty key. With this magic stupid solution, I got it to work and I could create level as much as I want. This is now the final result. I released the game on Play Store and exported the dual version for each tutorial so you can try the game and give feedback or review. That would be helpful. If you are watching until here, I will show you how to disable the ads for free. Just double click on the logo and click yes. You will find the link to my code in the description below. As a small thanks, the first who subscribe and write PR22 in the comment will be contacted for a small gift. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. If not, please subscribe to support my channel. In all case, please leave a comment with your feedback. And I want to thank my Patreon supporter, Null Reference. Compiler, Backkiller, Fake User, Nobody, Build Error for making this video possible and see you next time. Thank you for following.